Hey, you know what? We have a little bit of snow that was falling earlier. This was taken at 3.30 a.m. from my roof cam looking towards the south and east. Now let's look at it right now. Hmm. Stopped snowing, but you can see there is accumulation. So on the west side of the valley, from about Mountain View Corridor to the west, and that extends into Harriman, Rose Canyon. Some of those higher elevations in Rose Canyon likely have some very slick roads if you're coming out of the canyon or you're coming off of the Harriman Bench. It's going to be very, very slick, let's say. And I can say Harriman Bench because Harriman, a lot of the city elevation is above 5,000 feet, especially west of the area around uh, Mountain View Corridor. Okay, 26 inches at Alta, 21 at Snowbird. These are snow totals over the last 36 hours or so. Uh, about 16 inches at Brighton, Tempanogos 11, the Ochre Mountains picking up 11. It's still snowing in the Ochre Mountains due to this lake effect. Downtown Salt Lake City, it's fairly quiet right now. Uh, east side of the valley looking from the Natural History Museum, it's pretty quiet. But as we move in a little bit closer, you're going to see some of these showers that are moving off of the Great Salt Lake. So the air is cold enough, the lake is picking up these showers and pushing them down, like I said, into Rose Canyon, the west side of the valley. As we look at Doppler radar, these showers continue to form. So this is the time of the day climatologically that lake effect is best formed be between now and noon anyway. That's uh, what happens. So we're getting this snow, as you can see, west of the uh, kind of the Mountain View corridor. And then we're, we're seeing some of these showers squirt down towards uh, Eagle Mountain. So how much more snow in the mountains? Not a lot in the next 24 hours. Let's go to Wednesday early morning, seven inches at Alta, six and a half at Mirror Lake. As you can see, not as heavy. The storms are not coming in as big as they were, but we will see, still see some afternoon showers popping up just about everywhere. Mostly rain showers in the valley, snow on the benches and mountains, accumulations an inch or less in the bench areas. Here we are Tuesday, so pretty widespread, scattered afternoon and evening showers, some thunder mixed in. On Wednesday, however, look at the ridge of high pressure build. Uh, Thursday, slight chance for showers. Friday, pretty good chance as this low, it's kind of a warm front is going to come in and then gusty south winds will blow. Uh, then on Sunday, here we go, we're going to get hit hard in St. George and all across the state. That's Easter Sunday, sorry. Mostly 40s, 50s and low 60s today with St. George popping up at 61, then 64, 66 with a lot of sunshine the next three days. Showers turning heavy on Sunday. Now for the uh, Wasatch Front, we'll look for those uh, rain showers at times today. Could be a little colder tomorrow, maybe a little more snow mixed in with the rain on the valleys and snow on the benches, but it's not going to accumulate much. Wednesday, uh, in between day, Thursday, a slight chance for showers, pretty good chance Friday. Gusty south winds start to blow Saturday into Sunday as that storm moves across the state over the Easter holiday weekend. But look at that, 62 for a high on Saturday.